Hello and welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Alex. I'm Andrew. And as always, with great power comes great single and lonely ability. The abilities are always voted on by the Patreon. And of course, they voted on that to describe perfectly Andrew on this Valentine's Day week. You know who I'm going to spend Valentine's Day with? Who? Your mother. Actually, you're going to be spending it with your mother. No, she's not going to be in town yet. Oh. Next week. Excellent. I'm going to be spending Valentine's Day with your mother. No. Next week. How are you, buddy? You doing okay? You know what? You know what? We didn't put this on the set. Put that on the set. How you like them apples, huh? Yeah. That's what you get for being mean. It is the- Thursday as of right now. Obviously, you guys all know... What happened in the, the Super Bowl? The patrons also get to decide what is written on that whiteboard every episode, and they chose the 49ers. What is it? To the Super Bowl, baby. The best team in the NFL. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, we're going to do some Valentine's Day stuff. In, ter- in, in particular, we're doing a red flag, green flag game. We're going to start with that, and then later we're going to do um, a fictional character, a fictional couple's Yeah animated couples bracket yes based on uh the best couple who's the best couple yeah exactly in honor of valentine's day you know who's not on that bracket you me. got him well it's a fictional bracket so it could be me and someone oh i like that that's i like up. that that's it would be up. really funny if just every entry was you and just somebody it's a random because anybody with you is fictional is fictional and we'll probably always be fictional well you, you don't have to go there but i did uh, you, yep. All Red right. flag, green flag. Do you want to do yours or mine first? Or you want to go back and forth? Yeah, let's just do yours. You have a lot more than me. You want to do a three, two, one, and then we say our answer? Sure. Okay, ready? Always need caption. Okay, so for people who don't understand this game. Yeah. A red flag means something that is bad when you're dating a person. Green flag is something good that like you like. So it would be a statement a la always wears a Spider-Man hoodie. Three, two, one. Red flag. flag. Right. I'm saying a red flag because I don't want my partner to always be wearing a Spider-Man hoodie. What are they, 12? And he's going to say it's a green flag because that describes him. So uh, I we can also do beige flag if it's in the middle. So red, beige, or green mainly. Ready? Yep. Always need captions when watching a movie or TV show. Three, okay. Three, two, one. Beige red flag. flag. Red flag. So the only reason I say red flag is because this 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 uh prompt said always which means they're like not compromising at all like they can never ever watch a show or tv like if you want it most of the times that's a beige flag i don't like captions but if you always have to have them all the time i don't always have to have them but i have them on probably 80 percent of the time i never have them on unless i'm watching like an anime yeah but like what you can't what if you can't hear then, then it's fine that's not what it says it says always. like tenant you you want captions you want captions in the movie theater well no but sometimes I don't understand what they're saying in the movie theater, and I wish they had captions. All right. Ready? Yeah. You got one or you want me to go? No, yeah, you go. Okay. Uh, they're taller than you. Okay, yeah. Three, two, one. Beige red flag. flag. I just couldn't do that personally. Well, that's why I say it's a red flag, just because personally, like, I've but never... But I don't think there's anything wrong with no, being it's, Well, yeah, it depends somebody. on what your definition of a red flag is. Is a red flag just, like, your personal preference, or is it a red flag, like, something that's actively bad? It could be either. Yeah. It's a it's in between beige and red. Yeah. Like I don't think you're a bad person if you're taller than me. I just think you're a freak. <laughs> but it's not that crazy to be taller than you. All it's right. crazy <laughs> to be taller than me. We met we met a female that was taller than you. I, I know. I wanna she's, ask her She's so tall. How many She might be a guest on the pod. How many men she's dated that are shorter than her? Ninety nine percent of the world is shorter than her, I would think. Yeah. So, anyways, um, they're a cosplayer. Yeah. Three, two, one. Green, Green flag. flag. Yeah. That you means- you like things that you like, and you're proud that you like them. And you're creative. And you're creative, probably, and probably looks good. Odds are. And I would like to see my lady in yeah a nerdy outfit. Maybe an Insomniac Spider-Man suit, <laughs> if you will. If you will, yes. it does look consistently better, better on, on women. women yes yeah. yeah uh yeah you go let's go how many do you have 10 yeah. uh no i've got like five. Oh, we'll go let's see your one uh they've no job 
I can give you caveats. Because it's a different answer depending on why they don't have a job. Well, yes. We don't have to do a 3 two, one for this one. Like, it depends. Like, do okay. you have no job because you don't want a job? Do you have no job because you're trying to find a job and it's just impossible to find a job in this current market? Yeah, okay. Do so- you have no job because you were recently, uh, you know... Hit by a bus and now you're disabled. Right, exactly. Like if there's a extenuating circumstance, yes. you can't stand up. Exactly. You know, then I'm not going to red flag you. No, certainly but not. But like if you're just lazy and yeah. living at home with your parents at the age of 25, I'm old, you know, maybe maybe there's a problemo. Yeah. You are closer to 30 than not. Thank you. Wow, dude, you're old. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Oh my gosh, that just hit me. Okay. Ready? Your birthday is this week? Yeah, dude. I'm According 20. to this podcast. Yeah. It's a week from tomorrow. 26. But when this comes out, it's going to be a week from, it's going to be the week of. 26. You're going to be 26 years old. Wow. And single and lonely. Thank you for pointing wow, that out. Wow, dude. That's incredible. Continue. Likes feet. Uh, Yeah. Three, okay. two, one. Beige Red flag. flag. Yeah, not for me. Sorry. You're gonna you're gonna keep yeah. shame them. Yeah, I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. You know how many like weird sexual things you got going on? Absolutely. Sorry. And you're gonna be that judgy of your partner, mm-hmm. dude. I don't want. I don't want that. But you it's a, like are seemingly in defeat. You, yeah, you, everyone keeps saying that because I'm so comfortable in the fact that I'm not in defeat that like I can joke about it. He y'all are grossed out by feet. I'm just not. If y'all are on the Patreon. Oh, I did. He, I did he, suck a toe on camera. He pu- put just fully. One of our roommates' toes in his mouth, ex- like twice. Well, they paid for that. Yes, they hit. We hit four hundred patrons. Yes, but I would not have been willing to do that. Well, you know, maybe you need to stop being so judgy. And she said that you were using a lot of tongue. I was tonguing her toe up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I. I, I I don't I would not be into it like I wouldn't I don't want my partner to like be in defeat but if they are like I'm not it's like it's whatever yeah they can do their thing I'm gonna try to make them happy you know what I mean all right doesn't cook three yeah. two one beige, beige flag. flag yeah it's I I can't cook you so can't cook. I can't speak on I, it I cook more than you certainly but I'm not like I don't consider myself a, a chef or a cook or anything certainly not um. I think it would be more of a red flag if they don't know how to cook, but then also they were unwilling to learn. Like, I, I feel like that'd be something fun to learn with a partner, like to learn how to cook together. And then like, if they're busy, I can cook for them. If I'm busy, they can cook for me. So like, if they have an inability or uh, a resistance to ever learning how to cook, that'd be a red flag. But if they just can't cook now, like it's, it's, it's a beige good. flag. Yeah, it would be good. a green flag if they could cook. That's a green flag. Cause I like that. I like being able to cook and like to make food for me or whatever but like yeah. yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be super judgy if you can't rachel makes a killer pasta i can make some pasta we made a we didn't make a great pasta when we were blindfolded but no that was tough yeah that wasn't great um they ask to dress you constantly they don't force they don't require you go out dressed a certain way but they do ask hey can you wear this outfit constantly every time you go out Three, two, one, Bench red flag. flag. I understand. The only reason I would say that is because you said constantly. It's constantly. I have I have consistently talked about how I, I'm totally fine with other people dressing me. I've dated girls where I've like, please pick out my outfits. I'm pretty I'm pretty okay with that and mm-hmm. even encourage it because mm-hmm. like I want to wear what you want me to wear. You probably care more than me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But if they're constantly asking, yeah. like calm down. No, yeah, I, I understand that. I the reason I say beige flag is because I can fully admit, though I dress significantly better than you, that I cannot, <laughs> sure. I'm not, I'm certainly no fashionista, right? A t-shirt and shorts, maybe a t-shirt and pants, maybe a hoodie, and typically a hat. Like, that's the extent of, you know, that's that's all I can do. I can pop out in a suit, you know, for a premiere, a premiere, if you will. But, you know, at that point, I'm just wearing a suit and tie. Like, everybody can pull off a suit and tie, you know? But you pull off that tan one better than most. Thank you, Bubba. Um, they're a virgin. Yeah. Okay. 
Three, Three, two, two one, one, green, green flag. flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, it's a green flag for me, Bubba. We're twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, I, I don't have anything. There's nothing bad about that. Yeah, like obviously. I'm not saying that people are not virgins. That's bad. That's not a red flag if you're not right. a virgin. Right. So I, I think but the other question, the question. No. Don't even say it. No, I'm saying the, oh. qu- the question to me could potentially be, is it a red flag that they aren't a virgin because I have chosen to be a virgin for this long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and for because, you, what is it? Uh, I would say it's a beige flag. Uh-huh. Um, because, like, I, I know that's my standard and, like, what I've kept myself to on purpose. But, yeah. like, I can't expect someone's past to just be exactly what mine is in that yeah. sense. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, yeah. Um, uh, never seen... Star Wars, MCU, any Marvel movies, DC, never seen Atla, none of it. Three, two, one. Beige, Beige flag. flag. Yes. Barely. Yeah. It's borderline. But like Rachel had never seen anything and it was probably the greatest joy of our relationship for me so far has been showing her all of the stuff I love and her loving it. And it's something like we could share you know, in the same way that many people say, oh, like, I want to show my kids Star Wars. I want to see my kids reaction to Darth Vader being Luke's father and stuff like that. Like, I got to experience that firsthand. Yeah, it's it's and great. it was incredible. And now she loves all this stuff. New Hope's one of her favorite movies of all time. WandaVision's her favorite TV show of all time. Okay. Never enjoys or gets into movies or pop culture that you like Three, yeah two one red beige flag. flag i knew you were gonna go red flag but like you know i can't expect my um partners all of the, our passions to align rachel all. is way more into disney than me like the parks i find them exhausting i really honestly don't like going um uh I could do it like once every five years. It's but kind like, of like, it wouldn't be a red flag at all if they don't enjoy any nerdy thing ever. No Star Wars, no Marvel. Uh, no, And it, it, they act like it's a chore every time you try and share it with yeah, them. Yeah, that would suck. But then it's just something I'm going to share with my boys. And I, I'm sure if I'm with them, I'm sharing something else with them. Like maybe they're really into football. Oh, there is another one. Knows more about sports than you. Oh, I got one. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Green beige, flag. Beige flag. Do you know how smart you have to... Do you know how... I know. Is that possible? How sports knowledgeable you have to be to know more about sports than me? I think that like, would potentially be a red flag because they might be a psychopath if they know more than you. No. I, <laughs> what if you're just really like an intelligent person? And like, like you know, there are people that are smarter than me. That like without question, if they wanted to, they would know more sports than me. Um, yeah. I, I, would, I would find it almost strictly impressive like i don't that's what i'm saying i don't that would be crazy okay um likes man of steel oh okay yeah three two two, one red Red flag flag. that one's easy of course friends with their ex yeah we said this one in the vlog we didn't oh it's different it is different the one we said on your vlog where we vlogged our uh lisa frankenstein lisa frankenstein premiere was um, it, can they say something nice about their ex? Yes, talks nice about their ex, and you said green flag because it shows their maturity. Yes, it shows that they're able to like recognize that relationships end for a variety of reasons. But this is friends with their ex. They are actively friends with their ex. Yes, three, two, one, beige Red flag. flag. I understand why you're saying beige flag. Yeah. I don't have anything wrong with that, and like especially there are extraneous circumstances where it's like. Like, you know, they dated when they were in sixth grade. That doesn't count. Yeah. It, but, it, it, like, overall, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm too insecure as a man. I No, I totally understand. I don't know. It, I, I understand any any answer here. Like, I totally understand people being having baggage and having, like, uh, walls up when it comes to something like that. Mm-hmm. Because relationships don't just, like, go away and, and like... It's tough. It's tough. Uh, I say beige flag because I am friends with some exes, and, like, I understand that's a red flag for some people, but it's how you handle it. Like, if I am still friends with my exes and I'm talking to them consistently or I'm, like, really good friends with them or, like, I am not letting my new partner, like, see what I'm talking to them about, like, those are red flags. Like, and it's just the way you handle it. But, like, if I talk to someone every once in a while, I just check on them and you can see what I'm saying to them and I'm completely open and, like... 
that's where it's just like a beige flag. I don't think it's a problem if you don't make it a problem or if you don't act sus in a way with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we- they wear socks while sleeping. Yeah. Three, okay. two, one. Red flag. Why? It means you're a psychopath. Why? You don't like, dude, don't wear it. What? You yell at me every day that I, I don't wear socks. Not in bed, brother. It's I'm different. not wearing socks right now. Yeah, Why is it different? It just is, dude. You're wrong. No. This is a red flag. No. You, that you care that much no, 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 about no, you, it. It's a red flag. No, I'm pretty sure if they did a study that all psychopaths and all psychotic people would be people that wear socks in bed. No. You have to take socks off. Mm-hmm. When you get in there. You're ridiculous. No. The only time it's fine is like when it's like uber super mega cold and like your toes are just absolutely freezing. But even then when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're a little bit warmer, you need to take them off. You're weird. It's not weird. They're going to back me up, dude. Socks in bed while sleeping is weird. I'm going to put socks on you while you're sleeping. If I wake up and I have socks on my feet while I've been asleep, I I will question my own (laughs) like mental capacity. And ability to live in this world. and uh, That's incredible. I might become, yeah. You got one? Uh, their celebrity crush is Timothy Chalamet. Three, two, one. Green, Green flag. flag. Fuck you. Uh, he's an attractive man. It would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's an actual one. Uh, she thinks you aren't funny. Three, two, one. Beige red flag. flag. She's got, you don't want your partner to think you're funny? Rachel doesn't think I'm funny. She's correct. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Brutal. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I know people think it's a big deal. I don't, personally. I don't think she has to think I'm hilarious, but if she thinks like, like I'm, I'm actively just like not no, Rachel, funny. Rachel's like laughed at like two things I've ever said. She like doesn't think I'm funny. She'll tell you. She's how like, does she Alex find? How does she find you attractive? I know it's weird. I know I'm with you because I think it's that's the appeal. I guess it's the money. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Oh, of course. I don't think she has to think I'm like. A stand up like yeah, like yeah, yeah. Dave Chappelle, like Kevin yeah, yeah. Hart funny, but mm-hmm. like I want her to like we need to be able to banter and have some jokes and think each other are funny. Uh, I remember the last time I made her laugh. It was December of twenty twenty two. What would you do? We were watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and I've watched that movie a couple times, and so I remembered that, you know, Hagrid runs into Hermione in Diagon Alley and he walks up to her and he goes Hello, Hermione. And uh, I did that like right before he said it and I nailed it. And then he said it and she lost it. She thought it was really, really funny. That's the last time I made her really laugh. Nice work. But yeah, she, she just doesn't think I'm funny. I don't think it's a big deal. That's very strange coming from the person that legitimately got angry at people in this house for not thinking you're funny enough. It was because like... It was because, yeah, because it wasn't, it wasn't, I don't have problems with people not think I'm thinking I'm funny. I get that I'm an acquired taste. I get that I could be very obnoxious to many groups of people. (laughs) I didn't say anything. But it just, I was consistently raked below people that I, I've always thought are like aggressively not funny. Like, like those are the friends you have in your life that you're like, yeah, Matt's the nicest guy in the world, but he's not a funny guy. That's hilarious. Like, I, that just surprised me. Like, when he visited home, all of my friends, they were like, man, what a nice guy. But he's kind of a square. You know, no, no. Yeah, well, he, oh, that's, well, Matt is an acquired taste then. You, like, had to live with him a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe. I think he's great. I love Matt. But he's so funny. <laughs> this is water in a bottle. <laughs> we're quoting something he said in January of last year. Yeah, that's still. how funny it was. It's like. Uh oh, this is just the technical difficulty episode. Apologies for the light that you could see in the Escape Pod podcast. I hate that it reflects on on that. I fixed it. I got you guys. Okay, um, refuses to meet friends and family early Whoa. or in the first six months. Okay, three, two, one, red, red flag. flag. Yeah. yeah, like you gotta, go. you gotta like. That's going to happen in like I, six yeah, months. Yeah, like six months. Like my friends are like my, my family is in Alabama. Like I understand that. Like I'm not expecting you to fly to Alabama with me. But like if we did live in Alabama. Yeah. You don't think you're going to like see my mom or my dad or my brother in six months? Yeah, that's weird. Especially my friends. If you go to a movie or something like you don't want you that's actively weird. refusing yeah, to. No, meet them? I don't like that at yeah, all. Right. Like what's the what's the angle you've got? Yeah. Uh, they text you all day. 
three, two, one, green for, flag. Yeah, for me, it's kind of a green flag. I kind of need that. Me too. Me too. Um, but I understand for people that think that that's overbearing. And it does get me in trouble because I don't text back very consistently. I'm a really bad texter. and I'm a good texter. I'm not great on phone calls. Mm. Because, uh, like, if, if we're long distance and, like, we're not seeing each other in person all mm. that often, then I'll make time for it for sure. But, like, if we're in a normal relationship and we're in the same vicinity and we see each other, like, every week, I'm not going to do a lot of phone calls. Um, I will text you all day. I will have deep and great and fun conversations over text. But, like, I'm working and I know that sounds like a huge red flag. Like, for me to, like, stop everything I'm doing and just be on a FaceTime call when I know I'm going to see you this week, I can rarely ever do that. Like... Because that means I can't do anything else. I can't. I can't edit. I can't film a podcast. You I can't, can't multitask. I can, but like, it's difficult. I'm not saying you're crazy for that. I'm bad at it too. Like I'm. Like I'm fine. Rachel can always tell when we're on the phone if I'm doing something. right. Exactly. Like if you want to like just have the FaceTime on and kind of be close to each other while I'm doing something or like I'm I'm watching a movie and you're watching a movie and we kind of just have FaceTime on that I get. But like. People, like, I understand some people, like, growing up in, like, high school and stuff, like, I had friends who would, like, FaceTime each other and are, like, do group calls, like, every night for, like, hours or two. And you're going to school the next day. And I was, like, I don't under, like, and in college, like, I just did not, I could never do that. So some people are are bigger. Like, texting all day for sure is a green flag. Asked to hang out more than twice a week. Yeah. Uh Three, two, one. Green flag. flag. I could only see that being a red flag if it's like, what the fuck else are you doing? And if you're demanding that time. Yeah. But if you're, if you want to hang out a couple times a week, there's nothing wrong with that. If anything, it's more than twice a week. Yeah. That's a good thing. Is it not? If it said demands to hang out more than twice a week, then that's a red flag. I think twice a week is a solid amount. If you're like, I think that's fine. Uh, But if you're just asking to hang out more than twice a week, every once in a while, like, yeah, that's fine. I'd love to see you more probably. But like. Yeah, demanding it would be a problem, I think. You got another one? I'm out. You're out. All right, here we go. Talks about long-term plans early on. Interesting. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Red flag. I'm glad to hear that. I think I'm also going red flag. Because I have had it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. it's too much for you? Well, it let... Okay, well, I'll give you an example. I met this one lady. It's 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 that one. Okay. Okay. The day I met her, she purposely made me walk out and meet her parents when they came to pick her up because she was like, I might marry this guy. And that sounds really sweet, but it led to a very toxic relationship yeah. and a very unhealthy relationship. And a lot of things like that happened for a while. Like she was talking about getting married like a month or two in to me. And like we didn't live in the same state. And we had met each other once. Like, it yeah. was not great. So, like, I have, I like, there are some walls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you there. Okay. Um, I've already talked about this one. Call multiple times a day. That's a red flag for me. Yeah. Uh, it's tough. I've got a good one. Okay. Doesn't support your dreams yeah red flag yeah but like what if they're being realistic that's not like that's not what you said though sure but okay you let's say you have had a girlfriend you would be married at this point but let's say you had a girlfriend from the time you were 16 and for five years she was super supportive of your YouTube. And for five years, you've got 2,000 subscribers. And she just watches you kill yourself over and over and over to try and achieve this dream. And it's just not working. I don't think it'd be crazy for her to say, it's time to get a real job. Well, that's different. You can still support my dream by and telling me to get a real job. I always thought I had, should have a real job. I had a real job while I was... Well, yeah. What if she's like, all right, the YouTube thing's kind of over. No. Five years in, though, you've no. got no success? And uh, that's exactly what happened. I know. This is, we're talking with hindsight. It took you eight years or whatever. Like, Yeah. And I had girlfriends during that time for years that were with me when it sucked. Okay. Not five, but year and a half, two. Yeah. And they didn't stop supporting me. I Like, I think having realistic conversations in terms of, like, 
time spent and money spent, especially if we're getting to the point where we're like about to get married and we have a shared bank account and things like that. Like how much are we, how much time, effort and resources are we going to put into something that isn't working yet? That's fine. But like to say, like give it up completely, like we're not going to try at all anymore um, at any point is a no. Sorry. Um, Uh-oh. We're in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Something's coming. He can't even contain himself. This is an Instagram suggestion. Um. <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> Offers to upgrade your Disney Pass. <laughs> <laughs> green flag, obviously. Uh, yeah, I think it's a green flag. Um, That's really funny. Patrons will understand that. There is a story there if you'd like to hear that story. Of We're me. promoing the shit out of the Patreon right now. Love you guys that aren't on the Patreon also. Like, yeah, no course. stress. This of is, course. you know, we appreciate the hell out of you guys. You'd like, All right, I've got like I, four, I don't more. mean to make you feel left out. Yeah. But inside joke there. Okay. Um, sleeps with a stuffed animal. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Green, green flag. flag. Yeah. I actually, yeah. Rachel's got one. Uh, Rachel's got one. Obviously you've got one and you've got a blankie. A little young for you to have a blankie. A little young for me? Named blankie. It's a bit much. You're 26 years old. <laughs> blankie. I've had blankie since I was conceived. So I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like I just conceived. Really? Your parents had sex on that blanket? Conceived is not the word you're looking for here. Since before you were born is fine. I mean, they, they might have had blankie. I, blankie was a gift to me before I was born. There you go. Yeah. Conceived is not the word you want. Who knows? The other day, me and mom were driving somewhere, and she goes, that's where you were conceived. Oh! <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> Take a detour. Like, do a little, like... like I don't want that at all. She could be a tour guide. Yeah. Um. So you're saying Blanky's a red flag? No, I'm just saying... They have a loft bed. Three, two, one. Red flag. Beige flag. It's just so much, man. You're you're 26. I don't have it. I don't have it anymore. I know, and I'm proud of you. You've got a real big boy. I still have now. Blanky. I know. Like I don't have a problem with Lucky. I don't know. Blanky is just. But I get. Do you like Blanky more than Lucky? No. Do you like them equally? Yes. I knew you were gonna say that. Rachel has a stuffed animal from before she was born. His name's Fats. Fats. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a slur of some sort. I don't know. He's my dog. I really like him. Is Lucky your dog? She's literally a dog. I, I don't really have a relationship with Lucky like that. Out of respect. Because I, when I first moved here, I made. I deal. had a, st a story was told to me that one of our roommates moved Lucky. She and it was the most traumatic experience of your life. And so I was like, oh, I'm not. Never touch I'm Lucky. I'm not going to touch Lucky. I think I've touched it once. Her. Her once. Um, can't handle violence in movies. Yeah, okay. Okay, three, two, one. Red flag, flag, it doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. So it's a beige flag bordering on red. If you can't share, like, like it depends on the level of violence. Like, if you're not going to watch Saw, that's fine. Yes, I'm with you. But, like, movies are a big part of my life. And if you can't watch, like, anything with any kind of action, yes. it's like, going to be a problem. That's where I'm at. Like, it's like, it's I can't watch only Moana and like in Kanto for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. That doesn't work for me. Like it, what I meant by that is like only likes movies for children. I love movies for children, but I can't only do those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now I'm with you. Like the saw thing. If you don't want to watch saw, that's fine. Yeah. If the, this scene in talk to me is too much for you. That's fine. But like, they're like, you gotta watch something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, last couple. They want to share locations on phone. Yeah. Three, two, one. Beige, beige flag, flag. I can be convinced on red. I don't think I can be convinced on green. I can be convinced on green or red. And I will explain, but go. I My thing with the, the locations is me and Rachel share our location. It's really, really important to her. It's not important to me, so I do it. 
but my f- dear friend John refuses to share his location with his girlfriend Cameron because just in case he needs to commit a murder, like he doesn't want trace of him. That's fair. Obviously, sarcasm. It's a joke when he says commit a murder. But like, I I understand not wanting to feel like, you know, you just got to get out. You just got to separate from things. That makes perfect sense to me. Um, uh, and I, I don't think there's ever a situation where somebody could convince me, oh, it's good to have your partner's location. Like, it's always a good thing. I don't know. I just... I think it can either be a whatever thing, something you don't care about, or a bad thing. That's my take. Yeah, I can I, I, I can definitely... Why co- can you be convinced it's a good thing? Okay, so I agree that it can be turned into a bad thing because of all the things that you just said, and also the same relationship that I mentioned before, like, demanded that I turn it on, like, the second time we ever hang out and kept it on me for about a year and a half to two years. And when I turned it off after that long, it was a very big problem. Um and it was used against me a few times and stuff like that. So it can definitely, like if it's being demanded and it's being demanded too early, it can be definitely something that is a little stalkerish or a little um, overbearing and can be a problem. The reason that I say beige flag is because I think it can be in between. The reason it can be a green flag is because when you're in a serious relationship, having that security of someone knowing where you are just in case, having that... Um, I think there are some pauses in the sense that, like, that's just something you share. Like, like, um, if you just want to check on them, not in a creepy way. If you want to make sure that they're okay, like, it, make sure that they're home safe. Like, things like that with someone that you're going to share the rest of your life with. I don't think that's a, that's a bad thing. I think that could probably be a good thing. It's kind of one of those things where, like, it should never be demanded. It should never, like, be a problem in the sense that, like, you don't feel secure in the relationship if you don't have it. But I also think that a healthy long-term relationship will have it. Does that make sense? So it's like, it shouldn't be forced. It should just happen naturally if the relationship is good enough. So that's why I'm kind of in the middle on it. Um, Last one. Uh, Doesn't have a dad. Nice. (laughs) You're happy with yourself? Yeah. Three, two, one. Green flag. Go f*** yourself. (laughs) Uh, you want to do the bracket? Yeah. All right. Before we do the bracket, I've got a quick impromptu okay. uh, thing I wanted to talk about. Back by popular demand, Hat Guys Tweet of the Week. Nice. Are you ready for this? Yep. This is from Greg. Is it a tweet of Drake's penis? No, but that was crazy. That was crazy. He's huge. He's flopping that thing around, dude. This is from Greg. Did not need At to see Greg one six six seven six nine three five four two zero, you're in an arena with fifty hawks, ten crocodiles, three brown bears, fifteen wolves, one hunter with a rifle, seven cape buffalo, ten thousand rats, five gorillas, and four lions. Pick two of those groups to defend you while the others attack you. Goal is to survive one hour. And shout out to Chris Miles who sent that to me. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna state off the bat. I don't think there's any two groups that I can pick that are going to help me survive for an hour. I think I'm dead regardless, right? There's too much in there. So w- let's just remove the ones that we aren't taking. I assume we're not going with the 10,000 rats. That was the only one that I was definitely going with. I strongly disagree. 10,000? Yeah. Rats? Yeah. 10,000 rats I think I'm taking. Ridiculous. I think the five gorillas are a must. And I was really... What are they going to do I was against really, 10 crocodiles? I was really... Crocodiles are slow. I was really dead set on the hunter. No. With but, a rifle? Yeah, but no. He's not... No. There's nothing in here that's helpful. I'm doing the 50 hawks and the 10,000 rats. Just because it's a numbers game? What the fuck are any hawks or any rats going to do to one gorilla? Are you kidding? Yeah. A thousand rats are taking down a gorilla. Uh, okay. Uh, you, no, I disagree. If they're sentient and they know what they're doing and can attack, then yes. Like, I would take maybe 500. I'd maybe take less. You, you just need like... You know how many 50 is? 50 on you, 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 you get rid of like 10 and there's 40 more pecking your eyes out. 
That's 50. I have 10,000. And then I have 50 hawks that are flying around, swooping down, pecking your eyes out, coming at you. What are, yeah, frick that. The wolves are kind of cool though. <laughs> Give it to me. All right, so you're going you're going 50 hawks and 10,000 rats? Absolutely, and I think I'm taking you down. All right. And, and I, also, it's just to protect you. You have to survive an hour. 10,000 rats can get past the lions and get to you, and the hawks can get past and get to you. You're just trying to survive an hour. They don't have to kill all these people. They just have to get to you. I'm going five gorillas for sure. You're tripping balls, dude. Are there bears on there? No. There's not brown bears? No. Oh, three brown bears. You think a brown bear is killing a gorilla? I used to be heavy on the gorilla side, and now I'm not sure. I think I think bears got it. That's why there's only three of them. Yeah. I think I'm with you there. I think I'm going I think I'm going just total power and size. I'm going five gorillas, four lions. And me. We're a death squad of ten. You don't stand a chance. You don't think if, if you think, you think there's five bears and how many gorillas? Four? Mm -hmm. And they're looking at 50 hawks. No, no, I have five gorillas and four lions. That's what I mean. You think four lions and five gorillas are looking at 10,000 rats and 50 hawks. You, you're taking this side? Mm hmm. A bear, like, a gorilla goes have like this. Have you seen that? You heard that TikTok sound and it's like, I'm not afraid. Of an army of lions led by a sheep. Yes. I'm afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. And I got four of them bitches. Yeah, but you don't have the army. I have the army and I'll be the lion. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't even think you're a sheep. I think you're like a salamander. How many, how many, okay, per lion, how many lions, how many lions do you, how many rats do you think a lion could take on at once? You know, you know, rats have little like claws and like teeth, right? Okay. I'm not worried about it. It's a math game. You didn't answer my question. I'm making it in an hour, no problem. How many rats do you think a lion could take? I'm in an arena. The right lot, the rats gotta get to us, and gorillas and lions and there's, me are faster than ten thousand rats. There's ten thousand of them. Yeah. They could take over the whole arena. They'll get to me eventually, but like eventually is a big word. Okay, I, I've come to learn between the last episode and this episode that your ability to cogn cognitively like <laughs> understand fights is you have an inability inability to do so. You think? Yes. I made I made a judgment call incorrectly on the Gollum thing because like I thought Gollum had some like whack power. You thought he was stronger than he is. Yeah, but I conceded and I learned. You know how many people like said that we have done 54 episodes and like we had tons of people saying that your worst take, our worst take on the entire podcast ever was your Mike Tyson take. Yes. Well, that was more of an uneducated take. I just didn't understand. I do apologize. But like how many rats? Really, you think? How many rats can a lion take? I think more than a thousand. You think? <laughs> you don't think a thousand rats will take down a single lion? What's a, a lion's like? Four hundred, five hundred pounds. A lion's a monster. Like, and again, lions are fast. Rats are not fast. Yes, they are. They've got their little legs. I'm going to outrun a rat. Dude. Lions have a top speed of 50 miles an hour. You're losing. You're in an You're arena. Lost. That's I'm... not true. Just because they're faster doesn't mean anything. You run from one. You run from one end of the arena to the other. There, it's completely covered by rats. You're still running right next to a Is rat. Is this a basketball arena? I was imagining the Coliseum. No, I think it. Like, dude, I like take one bite of a rat and multiply that by a hundred. You're dead. And I have ten of those. Rats are like you this big. Have 100 of those. Oh, yeah, 10,000. Mm -hmm. This is the fictional couples bracket. It is all animated couples. Mm -hmm. So it's not just. Um, so there's no like Princess Leia Han Solo on here. Correct, just animated. Cool. Here we go. Now, this is going to be a combination of uh, 
the iconicity of these couples, also how, how much they are as a couple, how, how much, much they love each other, how their love works, how their affection works, how um, all that, their sex life, not just their sex life. I'm afraid you're going to go all in on the I sex. I would have gone all in on the sex life. It is, Thank it is, you for making that distinction. It is a component, but not the only thing. All right, sure. here we go. Esmeralda and Phoebus. Phoebus? Is that the Hunchback of Notre Dame's name? I thought it was Daryl. No, it's... She ends up with this dude? Dude, I haven't seen this movie in so long. She doesn't end up with the Hunchback of Notre Dame? I don't know, but, you know... I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Esmer is going to carry hard just by making that couple attractive in and of herself, you know? But she's up against Donald and Daisy. I want to go Donald and Daisy because iconicity. I also want to go with Donald and Daisy because we didn't even know who Phoebus is. True. Homer and Marge. Okay. They deserve to go further. But they're going to lose to who? Carl and Ellie from Up. Yeah, Carl and Ellie. They're a favorite. They are a favorite. You think they're... Yeah, dude. Uh, Ang and Katara, Oscar and Angie. They're from Shark Tale. Ang and Katara. Sorry, Zutara shippers. <laughs> um, Nolan and Debbie Grayson. That's from the from Invincible. Nolan and Debbie is Nolan his name? It is. So that's not a good one. They were a great couple, and like, and the then fr- and then he's like, yeah, she's, she's like a, a pet. pet. Brutal. Brutal. But, Brutal. But like, dude, imagine a couple where you're like, uh, you, you want some pizza? I could get, get, go to Italy and back. It's and, so, I love that, that scene. I love that scene. I lo- you want to go to the place in Germany I like? <laughs> it's so good. It's awesome. I love that scene. But uh, Simba and Nala. I'm going yeah. Simba and Nala because, yeah. Mark and Amber, also invincible. Mater and Holly. Holly shift well. I really like it that she has a dent at the end and doesn't get rid of her dent. So you want to go to them? Yeah. Because have you even seen Amber and Invincible yet? Has that happened in the show yet? Mark and Amber? Oh, Amber's the black girl. Yeah. Oh, I thought Amber was Adam Eve. No. Because that's going to happen. Right? I'm pretty sure it happens in the book. I haven't read the book. Um... I would say Mark and Amber in the second season, they're actually kind of working and it's kind of sweet. But like Amber was terrible in the first season. She was. She's annoying. Yeah. yeah so I'm going with Mater and Holly. Um, Melman and Gloria, Tarzan and Jane. Tarzan and Jane. She teaches them how to speak, dude. I'm going Melman and Gloria. Just because you identify? Yes. I identify kind of a lot. And I really think it's kind of sweet that she's, you know outgoing and has a personality and this and that he's like the worry wart and everything and they kind of make each other whole. you don't think it's sweet that jane is like not a savage and makes him not a savage and then he like but they live out in a tree house in the middle of nowhere that's so iconic and cool and sweet yeah and he protects her yeah but teaches her how to speak monkey yeah but she protects him in madagascar and like i cannot she, believe it. she chooses him over like Moto Moto, the hot guy of her own species. Moto Moto likes you. Yeah, I, I, I really want to go Melman and Gloria here. That's crazy. Tarzan and Jane are like an all-time like. When you think of fictional characters, I think the song is better than them. But that's part of their thing, dude. Both songs are better than them. Yeah, right. You'll be in two my worlds, heart and, one family, and uh, yeah, that one's a banger. But I'm thinking of strangers like me. That one schlangs. Their 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 relationship schlangs. You're going Melman and Gloria, really? I'm kind of dead set on it. Fine, I'll give it to you. That's crazy that Tarzan and Jane are out in the first round. I hope you feel bad. Tonight. I'm sorry. Hope you have it. A... <laughs> I was gonna make a mean joke. Mega Mine and Roxanne, Shrek and Fiona. Shrek and Fiona. Flick and Princess Ada, Wally and Eve. Flick and Princess Ada? What is Bugs that Life, from? sorry. Oh, yeah. And who else? Wally and Eve. Wally and Eve. Correct. Hercules and Meg, Cora and Asami. If I, I li- haven't seen Cora, I will defer to you, but I think I want to go Hercules and Meg. I like them. Yeah, I like Hercules and Meg, too. I, if I liked Cora the show, better, I might go with that. And also, 
Korra is like with like five different people. Like she's with Bolin, and then she's with Mako, and then it's like, yeah, I don't that's know. what I've heard. So she kind of bounces it around. Peter B and MJ in Spider Verse, mm-hmm. Bell and Beast. Bell and Beast, correct. Uh, Stoic and Valka. That's a good. You're as beautiful as the day I left you. Bob and Helen Parr. Their relationship's kind of rocky. Like in the movies, they're but fighting, it's so good. but it's good. Like they they still work. But stoic. I don't want to go Bob and Helen. But if you want to go stoic and Linguini and Colette and Ratatouille, Candace and Jeremy, Phineas and Ferb. Do we even see them together? Candace and Jeremy. Yeah, they're dating the whole entire show. I thought she was like liked him. No, they go on dates, and then there is also a. I'm thinking uh, there's of also Johnny a f- Test. I'm thinking of Gil from Johnny. There's Test. a future episode where they are married and have kids. That's sweet. Okay. And Xavier and Amanda are the names of their kids. I know you're wondering. Wow. <laughs> um. So it's them for Vinny's and Verb, and who else? Linguini and Colette from Ratatouille. Mm. I think I'm gonna uh, go Linguini. Uh, yeah, I like a soft guy with a strong woman. Yeah, and like that works really well, and we get to see their relationship blossom better than Candace and Jeremy's. And Candace is kind of a psycho. Mickey and Minnie. Okay, it's that obviously, right? The Potato Heads. Oh, I love the Potato Heads. No, Anna and Kristoff, Puss and Kitty. Puss and Kitty have some, like, problems. They, like, break it off, and then in, in The Last Wish or whatever. Yeah. I'm going in on and Kristoff. And I like Jonathan Groff. I love that song he sings about her. Lost in the Woods. It's a banger. Suki and Sokka. Okay. Woody and Bo Peep. Ugh. These are good. Suki and Sokka. Yeah. Just because, like, Woody and Bo Peep. It's in the worst movie. Exactly. And they're, like, really flirty in the first I couple. I really like... They are. They, they're flirty in one, especially. And she, like, I, pulls him off screen, and he comes back on with all the kisses on I face. really like the scene in Toy Story 4, the opening, where they lose Bo Peep. I think it's an awesome scene. It's rough. But, like, we get a whole movie without them, you know? And I'm that, with you. But that's part of their lore. It's good. They're both good. Okay. Um, Felix and Tamora, which is in Wreck It Ralph, Fix It Felix. Yes. Oh, and the the, yeah. the yeah the Jane Lynch character, Mike and Celia, Mike Wazowski in the yes, obviously, obviously, Schmoopsy Poo, Schmoopsy Poo, Googly Bear, Lee Shang and Mulan, Tiana and Naveen. That's brutal. That I gotta tough. go, Tiana and Naveen. Uh, Wade and Ember and Elemental. Wow, that's a good. Oh, one. they're cute. I like them. But they're up against Lady and the Tramp. I'm going Elemental. Just because you're freaking young, I'm 25. You're dude. right, dude. That would be such an angle to take of this podcast. If like every time there's something that's slightly older, you're just like, you weren't around, young you man, young whippersnapper. Um, Lady and the Tramp, like the spaghetti scene alone should carry here. Uh, but like. Elemental is really good. So no, I'm not giving you that. I think Lady and the Trip is a bad movie. The spaghetti scene. I'm with you. And the... This is the night. I know, I'm with you. But no. Lucy and Gru, Despicable Me, Miles and Gwen. Miles and Gwen. Max and Roxanne, Phineas and Isabella. I will defer to you, but I think I would go Max and Roxanne. Why? I like them. I think it's cool, and I think it's sweet. That she's like- the popular hot girl, and he's kind of the doofus, and then he gets the girl. I think that's sweet. I'm always going to lean to that trope. I like and, that trope, too, but, but like... I- Isabella, it's different, because she's got the crush on him. What you do, It's sweet. It's yeah, sweet. It's- and she's Jewish. For that? Emmett and Lucy in the Lego movie. Yeah. Chili and Bandit Healer from Bluey. I don't know those characters. I I'm was going, wearing my Bluey onesie today, brother. You were, but I'm going Lucy and Emmett. Yeah. Um, Hic- Hiccup and Astrid. That trope again. Flint Lockwood and Sam Sparks. Oh, that's uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Oh, 
That's also that trope. <laughs> that's, no, because she's kind of a, a dorky one, too. She's kind yeah, but, of dorky, but, too. No, but she's she hides that. She's the hot news reporter, and then he finds out that she's nerdy. Oh, you're Remember? right. Like, she has, like, she's actually really smart or something. But you're can... right. Feel like wood. Did we watch that for Patreon movie night? No. I haven't seen that movie in years. I don't know if I've seen it since it came out. I saw it very recently. I can't remember the context that I it's saw. It's so it. good. It's under the A in Atlantic. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's the island that they live on is under the A in Atlantic Ocean. Oh, nice. Ah. Uh, Hiccup. They only eat sardines. Hiccup. Really? I want to go. Let me tell you why. I want to go Flit Lockwood and Sam because I think they show the relationship more. Do they, though? Like in the first movie of How to Train Your Dragon, it's just like they're just starting to get together. But like by the third movie, they have kids. Do they really? At the very, very end, like, like, like the flash forward they have kids and like they're fully a couple in like two and three i'm pretty sure and like they're working together that's tough what the hell happens in cloudy with a chance of meatballs too absolutely nothing they <laughs> they travel up a, a a mountain and what's the concept i don't, I don't even know. know i just remember it being bad and they made a leak in the boat joke and that was the only good joke but it was in the trailer <laughs> You're really disappointed with Cloudy Dude, with a Chance Dude, because I meatballs loved the too. first one. And I, I'm telling you, that was the first time I ever came out of theater. And I was like, wow, that was bad. Like, as a kid, like, mm. watching that. I remember where I was sitting. You were a kid in Cloudy I with mean, a I was a little older. Too. I mean, you were I was probably like, 16 at that point. All right, I'm putting Hiccup through. Buzz and Jesse, King Fergus, and Queen Eleanor from Brave. Buzz and Jesse. Peter and Lois and Family Guys, Bugs and Lola. Bugs and Lola. 2013. So you were already like 18 was, by that point. I was 15. That's, yeah, I, I would have guessed 13. Uh, Kim and Ron. I don't. Oh, Frick! So that's Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable. Why are they versus frick! the seating is always terrible in the first round. Gosh dang it! All right, against. Can you think of another Disney couple that's extremely similar to that? Skinny nerd. Is it Milo and... Yes! It's Milo and Kida. Frick. I have my answer, though. Who are you going? I'm going Kim and Ron. I also think I'm going Kim and, Kim and Ron. Nice. Kim and Ron. Oh, yeah. I like Atlantis. That's great. But it's just one movie, and, like, the Kim and Ron thing, you were waiting seasons for that, brother. Yeah. And then when they had the movie... Do you remember the movie where it finally happened? No. Oh, dude, I remember. It. It's awesome. They have it's Kim Possible. It's the movie. She has this new freaking suit that can self heal. I remember thinking that was sick when I was little. And like Ron helps her the whole time. And there's prom at the end of this this movie. They're supposed to go to a high school prom or whatever. And like he was afraid to ask her or something. And then like at the very end, she like saves the world. And then they have to like fly back to prom. And she walks in. And Bonnie, the girl that always bullies and is like mean, she like she walks in with Ron. And Bonnie goes, "Look." Kim has ended up with the lame nerd Ron. And there's like silence. And then everyone just erupts into applause. And like they were like all waiting for it and loved it. And then like the kiss or something. It was awesome. Oh, That's I love great. it. I like that. You know Robot Chicken? Yeah. They have a Kim Possible versus Kim Jong-un. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's as funny as you think it is. Okay. Uh, Eric and Ariel. Uh Kanan and Hera in Rebels. I want to go Kanan and Hera. I don't know it well enough. I'll defer. I like really want. I th actually legitimately think they're favorites. Interesting. They're really good. Zuko and May in Avatar, Princess Bubblegum, and Marceline in uh, Adventure Time. I don't watch Adventure Time, so I'm going Zuko. Sorry. Okay. Uh, John Smith and Pocahontas, Ferb and Vanessa. Ferb and Vanessa. In my ride from out of space. I love Colors of the Wind, but like... Lightning McQueen and Sally, Fred and Daphne. I'm going Fred and Daphne. Really? There's nothing like... like I love Lightning McQueen and Sally. Do you? Stickers. 
oh, like it's one episode. Like it's one of the movies. And like by the end, like they're kind of together, but it's not like a very good like romance story. That's not what the movie's about. And then he's obviously not in, she's not in Cars 2 because that movie sucks. And then in Cars 3, she's not really a thing either. It's like that relationship didn't really go anywhere. Like Fred and Daphne don't really go anywhere either, but they're more iconic. It's Scooby Doo, and like, right, they span. All right, like, all right, all right, all right. You don't need to f- bully me about it. I'm not bullying you. Eep and Guy and the Crudes. Come on. Flynn and Rapunzel. Come on. Oh, easy. Donkey and Dragon. Nice. Nice. Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. Oh, they're they're together in the Harley, in the Quinn, Harley show. Quinn show. Have you watched that show? I've seen clips. I've seen the Cancer Ray. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> The first season is so good. The other seasons are also good, but the first season I was like floored. It's really good. Donkey and Dragon versus yeah. them. I'm going Donkey and Dragon. I I want to go Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, but really? I will defer to you. I just didn't even know that was a thing. Like Donkey and Dragon, like the amount of memes that have come out from the, the like him effing like, a dragon. Dragon does not talk. Like and and but Harley she flirts hard. Harley and Poison Ivy. Like I know you haven't watched the show, but it's like a romance. It's like budding from like season one, and she helps him. Like she helps Harley get over Joker, and then they like fall in love. Like okay. from friends okay. to lovers. I, I don't know. It's kind of a beautiful thing. I mean, I, when Donkey, it's kind of like a bit. Yeah, but it's a really famous bit, and it's the, a great. And they bit. have kids. I'm with you. But it is a bit. And, and I know the, the dragon doesn't talk, but the dragon flirts with the little eyelashes and everything. No, mm-hmm. I'll give it to you. I mean, I did give you the Rebels one over Eric and Ariel, too. Just I, would, I wouldn't have let you do that, though. Like, the, I, I, like if you want to take this one. No, that's fine. I put it through. Violet and Tony, Aladdin and Jasmine. Aladdin and Jasmine. Violet and Tony from Incredibles. Okay. Yeah, obviously. Back to the top. We haven't mentioned sex once. Look at this go. That, that could be like our tiebreaker. If we can't, then we'll start bringing up their sex life. Dude, Hera and Kanan are having wild sex. Really? She's like the best pilot that we see in Star Wars that isn't a Force user. What the frick does that have to do with sex? You think pi- pilots aren't f- You're telling me you've never wanted to f*** Kanan Christensen? Yeah, but that's unrelated. He's the best fighter pilot in the galaxy, baby. That is pretty hot. That's horny. But that doesn't mean that he's horny while doing it. He's blind. They're having crazy sex. He's blind? Yeah, he gets blinded by Darth Maul. And you think that you think bl- okay, so you're you're blindness two, you're makes two you arguments freakier. for your two arguments for and their she's sex. She's a li- good pilot and he's blind. That's correct. Donald and Daisy, Carl and Ellie. Carl and Ellie. Yeah. Favorites. Aang and Katara, Simba and Nala. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like, I just don't think it could, should count, but sure. Aang and Katara shouldn't count? Yeah. You have such a bias towards it. Oh, I was, well, you know. I guess I have the bias towards Melman and Gloria. Uh, you think? I think that's a little <laughs> bit worse, dude. And they're going to lose in the next round, probably. Mater and Holly, Melman and Gloria. Yeah, Melman and Gloria, baby. That's fine. Shrek and Fiona, Fiona, Wally and Eve. I want to go Wally and Eve. That's fine. They got that freaking fire extinguisher dance scene in space. It's dude. beautiful. That's pretty sick. Hercules and Meg, Bell and Beast. Because of the sex life, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Their sex life's crazy, and the song is a banger. Not that I don't like something Dude, sweet. Dude, oh my gosh. They're almost kind. And That's my favorite love song find. of all time in like, any Disney movie is the beauty and do 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 I don't like that one as much. Oh, I think it's a tad overrated. No, I much no. prefer, I can't say, I won't say I'm in love. Da, 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 da. No, that one's trash. Comparatively. What? Comparatively. Comparatively. Bob and Helen, Parr, Linguini, and Colette. Bob and Helen. Yep. Mickey and Minnie, Anna and Kristoff. Yeah, you're going Mickey and Minnie? Yep. Suki and Sokka, Mike and Celia. Mike. Yeah, but their relationship's mad toxic, though. No, it's not. Yes, it is. She gets so mad at him. You're right, but the sex is crazy. 
You don't think Suki and Sokka are banging? There's that whole episode where freaking Aang accidentally goes into his tent and he's got a rose in his mouth. He's like, hello. Dude, he's putting in the work. <laughs> I'm doing Suki and Sokka. What? Absolutely. I'm sorry. She did put him in the, in a dress the day she met him. Yeah, dude. She That's doesn't give it an F. And you see that one scene. Like, it does not need to be this sexual where Suki's escaping and she runs up the thing. And then she, like, jumps over all these people and she gets to the prison warden. And in, like, less than three seconds, she has him turned around, bound, and gagged. And then she, like, makes a comment. You don't think she's doing that to Sokka? Oh, I don't remember that. I'll show you the scene, dude. Tiana and Naveen, Wade and Ember from Elemental. Tiana and Naveen? You disagree? I just don't think Wade and Ember should have made it. I think Lady and the Tramp should have made it. I think Lady and the Tramp would have beaten Tiana and Naveen. That's ridiculous. No. You value these dogs way too much. Maybe. Miles and Gwen, Phineas and Isabella. Miles and Gwen, dude, he's freaking he's freaking graffitiing her face in the subway. Okay. Yeah. No? I agree. I don't like your reasoning though. And like like h- have we seen them be a couple? No. Yeah, but we don't really see Phineas and Isabella be a couple very long either. There's just one episode. Like Miles and Gwen like are clearly flirting from both angles. <laughs> Emmett and Lucy from the Lego movie, Hiccup and Astrid. Hiccup and Astrid. Yeah. Buzz and Jesse, Bugs and Lola. More iconic, Bugs and Lola, Buzz and Jesse, Spanish Boat. I want to go Bugs and Lola, but realistically, whichever one wins is getting voted out. So I will defer to you. I just put Buzz and Jesse. Cool. Kim and Ron, Kanan and Hera. I'm about to fight you. I don't want to spoil Rebels, but like... Kanan and Hera is a top three thing for Rebels. It's really good. And they're having crazy sex. Because she's a pilot and he's blind. That's just... But Kim and Ron... You... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I can't believe you're kicking out Kim and Ron, dude. I love Kim and Ron. I can't do it. I can't I can't with you. Zuko and May, Ferb and Phineas. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean Ferb and Vanessa? Ferb and Vanessa. I'm going Ferb and Vanessa. What? Okay. Go. Do it. Why? If there's an argument and a belief from a lot of people that Zuko should be with somebody else, you're not getting you're not beating somebody, a couple that is like unanimously together since day one. They have like two episodes where they flirt. In like, my rad. From, from that's, outer space. that's one of them. I can't believe you brought Zutara in as like a reason. That's so dumb. Only stupid people do that. Flynn and Rapunzel, <clears throat> Fred and Daphne, Flynn and Rapunzel, uh, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, Aladdin and Jasmine. Aladdin and Jasmine. Okay. Ah. Wait, the, who did Flynn and Rapunzel beat? Poison Ivy, Harley. Yeah. Carl and Ellie, Aang and Katara. This is my finals. But it's Carl and Ellie. Yeah. I agree. Melman and Gloria, Wally and Eve. Your reign of terror is over. It is. Wally. Wally and Eve. I want to watch Wally again. It's, it's good. It's a really good movie. It's good. When she when he gets crushed and she's like worried about him and then she's like like switching out his parts and trying to like get him to come back and then yeah. he just starts going and doing the garbage and she's like Oh, you feel it. But the opening is the best part of that movie. Like, everything before the spaceship is, like, really spectacular. Well, you don't you don't get the space fire extinguisher thing until the, the, the ship. I know, but, There's like... There's still some, some good. Do you care about the HAL 1000 villain? I do. I think he's kind of creepy. And all the fat people are well, funny. Well, it's just a 2001 ripoff. That's the villain of 2001, yeah, the Space Odyssey. Same thing. Hercules and Meg, Bob and Helen. Hercules and Meg. Really? Yeah, the the Incredibles, like, sh- sh- they've got the family going, but, like, they do have, like, marriage problems. Like, she thinks he's cheating. And you think Meg and Hercules won't have marriage problems? Not that we see. He does go and try and die to save Yeah, her. he literally, cl- like, crawls through the underworld. Yeah. All right. She just says be more flexible, dude. 
Yeah, but it's so hot. Pull yourself together. She's literally crying over the fact that she's he's cheating on her. Like, Mickey and Minnie, Suki and Sokka. Mickey and Minnie? Yeah. Tiana and Naveen, Miles and Gwen. Tiana and Naveen? Yep. Hiccup and Astrid, Buzz and Jesse. Hiccup? Yep. Kanan and Hera, Ferb and Vanessa. Kanan. Yep. Spoiler alert. Flynn and Eugene. Nope. Flynn, Rapunzel, Aladdin, Jasmine. Frick. That's I want to go Flynn and Rapunzel. Oh, because you're but... young. <laughs> it's because you're too young. But no, you know what? I actually, I'm switching my answer. I'm Why? going Jasmine and Aladdin. Okay, well, I was going to go Flynn and Rapunzel, so. It's kind of the same thing. Um, Like, it's kind of the same thing of like, she wants to explore the world. She's like in an isolated place, but wants to explore the world, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Like, it's kind of the same thing like that. But... Flynn, like, doesn't, like, want her at the start. And, like, Aladdin wishes to be a prince so he can have an opportunity. His whole and mo- Whole New World is the best Disney song ever. It's that one or, or uh, right, they- Let's Get Down to the Business. I I like Now at Last, We See the Light. But Whole New World is, like, a masterpiece. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they both have... If one of those songs were clearly better or one of those scenes were clearly better, like their love song scene, but one of them isn't clearly better. I think you can make the argument that I can see the lights or whatever is better, especially like with the no. love. Some people will. It's a better song or like the lights. No, and it's like not a better song. I understand. I'm not saying you have to think that. I'm saying some people might say that. And I think those people are wrong. Great. I understand that. Aladdin and Jasmine. Carl and Ellie, Wally and Eve. That's really difficult. Do you want to go Carl and Ellie? I sure do. Sure. <laughs> Hercules and Meg, Mickey and Minnie. Uh, Hercules and Meg. What have we seen Mickey and Minnie in? Mickey Mouse Hundreds Clubhouse? Hundreds of years of cartoons. Literally. Hundred years of cartoons. You are really dead set on Mickey and Minnie, so I'll give it to you. Literally, just their show at Disney World is like, oh, Minnie's here. And, like, it's cute. All right. And they kiss. All right. Doesn't do anything for me. Mickey's not going to hell to save Mickey, Minnie. That's true. Hercules and Meg's sex life is better. And, day I won't say I'm in love. Minnie's got nothing on that. All right, just because of that, I'm putting Mickey and Minnie through. Um, Tiana, Naveen, Hiccup, and Astrid. Tiana and Naveen. Yep. Kanan and Hera, Aladdin and Jasmine. Shit. I mean, Aladdin's not a pilot, you know, so what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm I'm going to go Aladdin and Jasmine. Why? Because Kanan and Hera have nothing on Whole New World. Okay. But you think their sex life is better? Yeah, he's blind. Guess what Aladdin can do? (laughs) Just close his eyes. You ever heard of blindfolds, brother? She's got tails coming out of her head. You don't think they're doing some freaky shit? Yeah, but they got freaking genie and, and the carpet. You saw Hera in in live action in Ahsoka. Oh my goodness! You and McGregor's a lucky band. Have Aladdin and Jasmine taken carpet ten thousand feet in the air and boned? Hundred percent. Right? Hundred percent. I I would go so far as to say it happens in Aladdin. I would go so no. far as to say that's what whole new world is. No, 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 no. <laughs> but they but they do that. They try that out at some point. But Carpet's sentient. Like, you think he's bothered by that? No. Carpet's the homie. <laughs> <laughs> he dapped up. Yeah, and snapped with a lot. It's like, yeah, they're, they're, like, no way. Like, no, yeah, yeah, Carpet yeah. suggested it. Yeah, Carpet, yeah, for like, sure. Like, Carpet went one of these. He did one of these. He was like... <laughs> Yeah, but that means carpet's like a little like kinky and freaky and weird. 
as he as he acts. You think he's gonna find like a carpet female, like a girlfriend? They're gonna make him a carpet. Oh, they should make like yeah, and then Genie can like turn it alive or something. Okay. All right. Carl and Ellie, Mickey and Minnie. Hey. I mean, I kind of think it's clearly Carly, Carl and Ellie, but I assume you're going Mickey and Minnie? Nope. Carl and Ellie. So, what, 10 minutes of screen time versus, you know, 100 years, your whole argument just out the window? Could you like the 10 minutes more? Yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. All yes. Right. The love story told and up. What is... did you think of the short before Elemental, where he goes on a date? It was kind of cute. Did it upset you at all? It felt a little... Weird, but like I think they handled it well. If they were gonna make a short about that, I think they handled it well. All right. It was cute. Tiana and Naveen, Aladdin and Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. Carl and Ellie, Aladdin and Jasmine. Carl and Ellie. Carl and Ellie. I'm happy with this bracket overall. I really am. <laughs> I am too. Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Who am I? I'm, I'm, you're the only person I'm going to be saying that to. By the way, can I use your car? For what? Valentine's Day. To take Rachel out? Mm-hmm. That's... At least your car's getting something. All right. 